What's going on YouTube? It's a new video I wanted to make and this video is about the Air Jordan Retro 8 the playoffs. I've been wearing them lately. Um, I know these are coming out soon. I'm not too sure exactly when. I forgot. I gotta look that up. But um, I have this, this pair right here. This is my pair from I believe these came out 2008 I'm not sure but uh, let me check the production date production date is from 2007 so yeah I guess these came out 2008 I only wore them about five times um, but I've been wearing them lately because I know that they are coming out soon and I want to get my wares in just um, before everybody else has them. I don't like wearing shoes that everybody else has. But, uh, it's a really nice shoe. You know, only worn a couple times. I just got done cleaning them. See, the bottoms are clean. Uh, this box right here is uh, a box full of um, all the stuff that I use to clean my shoes. I just keep them all in here. I'm gonna make another video, just like an update update video of how I clean my shoes. Cause, uh, because um, if you've seen my um, previous vid about that cleaning shoes, um, I did make some changes. But uh, I'll make another video about that. You see this right here? Odor eaters. I use this to spray the inside of the shoe so it doesn't smell like shit. <laughs> but uh, I'll make an update video soon. But for these shoes, pretty much use. This right here is a waterproof protectant spray. Um, for some of the spots that I saw had some dirt stains, I used this new book cleaner. This right here to remove the all the lint and dust. I used this little brush. This is from Timberland, but I used this um, along with this right <clears throat> along with this right here, a new book. Um, suede cleaner. I use this specific brush. All right, and you all know I use scrubbing bubbles to clean. One thing that I added is this little Scotch Bright brush for the bottoms of the sole. It's just a lot easier to clean the bottoms instead of just using a little toothbrush. All right, so I just got done cleaning those. I'll do another video about how. I clean my shoes now, but um, this video is about these shoes. All right, I usually wear them like this. I don't, I don't um strap them up like that. Wear it like this, open. You know. When I was at the mall, I saw these socks right here, and um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think. It go with these shoes right here. I think like this um this um pattern or design similar to this all those lines. Um, so I mean I think they go with these shoes. I'm not sure if I'm wrong. Tell me, but uh, I mean they look good with it. You know, crew socks. Just whenever I'm wearing these shoes with shorts, you know. I got this shirt right here, Chicago Bulls. Has the same pattern. You know, those lines. So, I mean, yeah, I think these shoes were for the Retro 8s. So, whatever, I got those. Here's this shoe right here. I made it on feet of this shoe. One of my older videos, if you want to check them out, <clears throat> look at my older videos. It's one of those. Um, as you can see, it is creasing. These shoes were DS. I only wore them, like I said, five times. Um, the reason why they're starting to crease is because I'm no longer wearing, um, no longer wearing these. Um, I don't know if I ever showed this to you guys, but I used to wear these. These are the sneaker shield. Um, it's like a wearable shoe tree. It's made of this. Um, flexible hard plastic 
but uh, these really hurt my feet bad my toes really hurt so I stopped wearing them but um these work man like I have like other shoes that I used to wear with these and you can't even tell that I wore them no creasing but you know now what I do I wear these these are force fields you can find these at like champs or wherever shoe store and some of you may know these are know about this already but they don't prevent creasing they um you know it'll, it'll minimize the creasing like this would be a lot worse if I didn't have anything but at least I could tolerate wearing this it, you know it doesn't hurt as bad as these these my toes are like you know crunched up in the front right here so it's all around but but this really works so if you could if you could tolerate the pain then you know go ahead and use these um I did cut it too I cut it right here I made it like a little bit shorter but they still they still hurt so you know I'm just using these now whatever um, it does minimize the creasing but you will still see creasing but whatever at least my feet won't be in pain but who cares man you know the shoe to me as long as the shoe is clean you know that's all that really matters the creasing isn't that bad but yeah the the Bugs Bunny 8s, I believe, are coming out pretty soon, and I'm not going to get those, you know what I'm saying, because it's uh, a white shoe. I got a lot of shoes in that color already, in white, so um, you don't need to get those. When these drop, I already have these. These are in good condition, so I'm not going to get those, but like I said, I've been wearing them, and I um, just wanted to make a quick video to show you that I got these socks to go with them. All right. The next vid, like I said, is going to be an uh, update vid of how I clean my shoes because I did make changes and it's um, I think it's a good way of cleaning the shoes a lot easier than how I have been doing it, more effective. So uh, keep a lookout for the next vid. Um, I do have other videos that I have to post that I've just been you know slacking on on feet videos of the retro 13s that I got I do have the white and black ones those of you know them as the he got games but to me they're just a white and black 13s I gotta make it on feet of those and um I think the bread 13s I never made it on feet so I'll probably just make on feet videos on those as well so thanks for watching peace